Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us here today. I'm, of course, Gregory Guy, joined here by Casey. And for your extreme, extreme viewing pleasure, we will be presenting episode 18 of the Bandcast. And also on a <laughs> spectacular, spectacular note, we're going to be talking about conspiracy theories. Manufactured. Manufactured conspiracy theories. Manufactured by us. Manufactured by us. Right. And, 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 so, and so a little bit of help. And some help. There you go. Well, I'll let, I'll let you get into that when, when you get right. to that. I, I want to just do like a little precursor. In no way, shape, or form do we believe these conspiracy theories are true. Speak for yourself. Okay. Well, he's, he's an insane person and believes the, th the conspiracies that he has created. Uh, but but I, I don't think any of mine are real, to speak for myself, and neither should you. <laughs> Great disclaimer. Yeah, actually, I, you know, there's actually only two that I think could actually be plausible on my list. Right, okay. So. Anyway, just yes. just to get started, I, 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 I figure, I... I was struggling. I was like, what is going to be the best way to start this show? Okay. So, I asked myself, well, who is the greatest conspiracy theorist? Not necessarily the greatest, but has been proven right the most. Alex Jones. There you go. Right. And so I did a little bit of internet research, and I'm not that familiar with Alex Jones and his predictions, but I did see, like, it was either a t-shirt or a meme or something where it went through like a list of stuff, you know, with check marks. And it was like, you are here. And there's only like two or three more things. Right. Like, oh, I mean, you've probably seen it, but, but going off that, my first theory is that Alex Jones is a time traveling alien who invented a working crystal ball. He invented a working crystal ball? That's right. Well, if he's a time traveling alien, then why would he have to create the crystal ball? Just for he show. Already, he already knows it. Just for show. <laughs> maybe, maybe, so he can show other people. Maybe he created a crystal ball, right? Maybe he created a crystal ball that um, it's actually somebody in the future that has a ca has a camera. Oh, and maybe and they're can, talking to each other. Right, and he, maybe, he speaks, maybe he speaks to somebody in the future Ooh. through the crystal ball. Oh, yeah, that's good. That's a that's another layer I hadn't even considered. But if he's from the future, then he would know, know it already. But if he comes back in time and he changes things by having people... Uh, know things that it changes the future so he has to communicate through the crystal ball to figure out what's changed I mean, I'm not sure I even understand you're not that. even following no. just 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 the uh, just the um, if, if somebody from the future was to come back in time okay. they would inevitably change the future Especially if you're on like a level where other people. Yeah, yeah. Are, I mean, yeah. that's some sort of like. Uh, 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 it's a time loop type it, it's thing. It's something called a, par something a paradox. Something paradox. Okay. But, uh, yeah, yeah. I, I have heard of this theory, but. Right. I tend to you know, overthink. Guess things. what? What if it is Alex Jones? Right. I mean, think about all the you know correct stuff that he has said. Which you know, when you first hear about it, you're like, that right. is absolute lunacy. He says things, he takes like a, 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 a piece of the truth, right? And then he outlandishly explodes it. And I'm not talking about just, just uh, makes it bigger. He, he explodes it into some fantastical, rage-filled um, speech that, that makes it seem even more unlikely to be true. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, like I said, I'm not that familiar with with you know Alex Jones, but he's more of an entertainer than a reporter. But he does produce segments of the truth yeah. throughout his. I mean, I mean, I've seen him on like Rogan one time. Right. Then, uh, other than that, yeah, yeah, he, he's not somebody I, I, I really he's a watch or follow. But you know, but, apparently, apparently, he does come up with some crazy ideas. Right. 
So I figured. Well, the he best doesn't way, come up with them. He 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 actually sees these things. Right, right. Yeah, I mean, there is research and everything that goes behind right. his work. So yeah, but yeah, there you go, Alex Jones. He's but, a time traveling alien, right, with his own crystal ball. Ah. Uh, Even though it's probably not necessary. <laughs> right. <laughs> I just thought it would be a good way to start the episode paying homage right. to the, you know, <laughs> probably best known conspiracy theorists out there. Well, I, I would say that the best known conspiracy theorists there is to see it in as they want to talk about certain people being Well, I don't I don't think I don't I don't <laughs> think they're a conspiracy theorists, you you know, or even have anything to do with conspiracy theory. They're just full of shit. I, I consider them conspiracy theorists. <laughs> I, I just think they're full of shit. But them at NBC, MSNBC. <laughs> did, you, did you hear that? Uh, what's her name was was getting a job there at the press secretary, White House press secretary. Doesn't surprise me. This, I mean, obviously, I mean, she's she's one of the best liars in the business. I mean, she fits right in. <laughs> there you go. You heard it here first. Um. So. Go ahead and uh, so the one I'm going to open up with was not created by myself. It was created by um, a segment of my guild. I play World of Warcraft. Do you, do you remember who actually I came up with I the idea, remember. or was it a, a collaborative effort between the guild? It came up with it as an individual, but I think it was elaborated on slightly oh, okay. by, by other people. Um, so, do you want to shout out the guild that you're in? Um, Jedi's Anonymous. There you go, Jedi's Anonymous. This one's yours. Yeah. So, the Nestle uh, Corp that makes uh, chocolate bars. Um, and it, probably other products. And other products. They are owned by aliens and want to kill us all by getting us to not drink water and consuming too much candy. What do you mean by not drink water? Is this like a chocolate milk thing? Or? Yes, yes. They want it, They want us all to be unhealthy and to and to and to die. Okay. <laughs> Anything? Nothing. I'm 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 hoping there's more to it because I'm still that? I'm still soaking it in. That, no, that's it. That's it. The Nestle chocolate company is owned by aliens and wants to kill us all. Okay. Well, if they're owned by aliens, then technically. I believe Alex Jones would be the CEO. You think Alex, Alex Jones is Alex Jones an alien? That's what I started off. He's a time traveling alien. Oh, okay. I didn't know he was an alien. I thought, I thought he was just a time traveler. How I started it out. He's a time traveling that, I, alien. I missed that part. Pay attention. <laughs> okay, if they're owned by aliens. Right. What? Okay, why? Why why chocolate? Why Nestle? Because it's unhealthy for you. Is it? Chocolate? Yeah. If you eat too much of well, it. Well, yeah, if you eat too much, I mean, in moderation, it's... Right. It's true. I would actually venture to say that... I, I, I was going to replace... The aliens with... own the insulin companies as well as the chocolate factory okay. in order to try and you know for or give people diabetes so they can sell more insulin okay that seems more plausible to me all right i mean it would not surprise me if nestle owned an insulin company <laughs> we'll do some research to get back to you on that one i'm gonna be honest i wouldn't be surprised either <laughs> right Let's double dip. Uh, you want me to go again, or you want to go? Um, no, I'll go. I'll go ahead. And, I'll go ahead and uh, move on to my next one. Now, obviously, by the time this comes out, I almost guarantee that no one will be talking about this anymore. Okay. But obviously, the uh, Oscars the past weekend. Okay. Will Smith got up on stage and slapped Chris Rock in the face. Mm-hmm. I mean, unless you're living under a rock, you, you've heard about it, you know? Right. Now, the conspiracy theory I have on this is, is one, I, I almost, 
and this isn't part of the theory, but right. I almost feel like it was staged. I mean, and, and there's a reason for that. Okay. Have you heard the audio of him actually making contact with Chris Rock? Uh, and I, I haven't, I haven't heard this anywhere else on, on anything I've seen about it. I, I, saw, I saw it for like a quick second. I didn't really pay that much attention to it. It seems like it's like a much bigger deal, or not? It's it's not a, as big a deal as everybody. It, right, it's, exactly. It's, it's like a it's like a passing moment in time for me. That Ex- exactly, but you know, I feel like it was it, okay. It was staged for you know the reasons of you know ratings and the tanking ratings of these award shows and everything. But what really you know convinced me in my mind is when you hear you know him make contact with Chris Rock, it sounds more like a not a slap. Um, I, did, I didn't put it. I didn't put that much effort into it to be to, right, to pay attention right, to okay. it. To be honest now, with you. Right? Now, now, now. That being said, I believe that it was staged. Now, I mean, a, a lot of stuff has come out in in recent right. days where, like, the LAPD is thinking about charging Will Smith. Will Smith retired from you know right. the academy and all this other. Neither here nor there. That being said, let's say that it wasn't staged. Okay. My conspiracy theory is that Will Smith already knew that he won the Best Actor Award for his first Academy Award. And he just felt like, I can do whatever the fuck I want. So when Chris Rock starts making fun of you know his, his, his wife, probably not even knowing that she had a medical condition going on, he realized that I can get up, stage, you know, up there on stage, you know, hit him. And not get kicked out, cause I got a speech I got to make later. I think, I think. It, I think he knew it. I think he knew ahead of time. I think all those, anyone who wins an award probably already knows, so they can work on their speech. I mean, I don't think it really mattered that he, whether or not he won the award or not. I think he, he just feels entitled enough just to walk up there and just smack somebody just because his his feelings got hurt. That's fair. I heard someone else say, um, oh man, I, f- I forget what comedian they, they said, but if, if it wasn't Chris Rock, you know, if it was like Rogan up there, you think, do you think that, that happens? No. Rogan comes back with a spinning kick to the fucking face. I, I think I think Will Smith only did it because he would get away with it without knowing that any he wasn't going to get any repercussions back. I think that if, right. well, if I mean, it's The Rock know, or, or Joe Rogan or anybody that could whip the crap the out rock, of him. The Rock. It might have been The Rock, right. I yeah, heard someone rock. say. Yeah, but it, it, if it was one of those guys, there's no way Will Smith would walk up to, to smack him. It be basically, basically it makes Will Smith a coward in one way or another. Yeah, well, I, I mean, it, it, well, the whole thing is that I believe, I believe that he... Already knew he won. Okay, if you go up and assault somebody, and this is you know under the assumption that it wasn't staged, right? How did they not kick him out of that event? Here, here here's the thing. They, this, how did they not ask him to leave? How did they not get security down there and be like, you "Gotta go, bro." I I think it's less. He's not slapping security. I'll tell you that right now. I think it's less the point. And personally, in my opinion, it's less the point of 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 was what should he have done it or not should I mean obviously he should have done it, but I feel like any if I was to walk up and just slap a, a comedian on the face if I'm sitting in the crowd I'm just a regular guy I walk up and I go smack a comedian in the face what do you think is going to happen? Oh, well, you're getting charged. I'm getting charged. You're getting charged. And this, and this, this, is the, this is the issue I have in general with this country is that laws only apply to some people and not all people. Yeah. You know well, what I mean? I mean, that's a fair assessment. But. And, and this, is, this is the real issue I have. That is it. Like, there are certain people, especially even in government and politicians and wealthy people and actors and... Whoever else is that laws don't apply to the pe- those people as they would anybody else, and that is 
the rot that is in this well I, I would venture to say is that these you know elite and entitled they don't feel like the law applies to them. right like I mean you see like the LAPD coming well, out well, saying we're probably going to charge them. Yeah, I mean the fact that that but the, the fact that he hasn't been charged, even though it's on video right now, yeah. just tells you enough. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, I, I I agree with that, but I don't know. That's one of the things we'll have to see what happens. Whether or not anything actually happens, Chris Rock already said he doesn't want to press charges. So, I mean, it, it doesn't have to anything to do right, with Chris Rock. Right, right. Exactly. It, 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 it was, that's what I'm saying. You have the LAPD evidence that is it saying that you know they're probably going to press charges, but what's going to happen? You know, come right. with it. Right. Nothing. Guaranteed. Nothing. Right. Okay. Let's move on to something else. Woosa, motherfucker. Woosa. That's Martin Lawrence, by the way, from Will Smith movie Bad right. Boys. All right, so here's <laughs> here's my next one here. All right, you ready? All right, hit me with the crazy. In World War Two, the Earth was destroyed. Uh, we now use three separate planets um, to to live on. Um, we have to pass when you when you're flying on a plane. From now, granted, I made this up at like four o'clock in the morning. So this is this We're is way to off the wall. All right. So when you travel through a plane across the Atlantic or the Pacific, you are actually going through a space. You are actually going through space to reach these three different planets. Okay. What? What? Okay. Let's say one of the planets is Earth. What are the other two? The planets other we're that using? planet Earth was destroyed. Planet Earth does not exist. Oh, okay. Do you have any idea what these three planets are? Like, are we using Mars and uh, Venus? I haven't or, thought, thought that. Or, or are we in a different, like, solar system? I haven't thought that. I didn't even think are of that. Are we in a different yeah. galaxy? That's possible, are too. Are we in a different universe? Or a different plane of existence? Okay, well, I, I will say this. Um, if... That uh, actually does come and prove to be true. That totally changes the Miss Universe pageant. The it actually makes it legit. Right? Miss Universe is legit now. <laughs> Just saying. So basically, it's a government... They, they say they basically, um, in order to hide their embarrassment on destroying the Earth, they have hid this information from the general public that we now survive on three different planets and have to travel through space to get from one continent slash planet to another. Okay, I have a question. All right. If they destroyed the Earth during World War II, all right. how did the survivors get off planet? Um, they waited until they were all asleep and they moved them. <laughs> with the time-traveling crystal ball? Yes, with the time-traveling crystal ball. Alex Jones strikes again! See, it's it's really easy to punch holes. It's it's very difficult to create a good, solid conspiracy theory. And the ones the, the, the this conspiracy you say, theory you said it's difficult. Right. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I I, I agree. And, and, and this is where I struggled, and eventually I got to the point where I was like, all right. Right. <laughs> I mean, I could poke holes through all of my conspiracy theories easily. And the reason why some conspiracies, even in the real world, stick around longer than others is because they're much more difficult to prove or they're more easily explained. Now, I'm not saying this is easy to explain. It's definitely not. Because somebody would know. <laughs> somebody would really know if we were actually on planets or not. It would be easily provable every, time, every day of the year. Unless we're all in the simulation. I mean that's a com that's a complete different conspiracy theory that we are. Is that on your list out of curiosity? Anything related? That that is not because that is okay. a well known conspiracy theory. Right. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah, I just didn't want to make sure I was stepping on your toes for later. Right. Right. But I mean, yeah. Okay. What if we are just in a simulation? I mean, I mean that that, that would that's be why it's that would be why that, that you know particular theory could be plausible. Right, but I, I'm actually not going with the simulation theory. I'm trying to stay outside of the simulation theory. 
for now. Right. And, and this particular conspiracy is not within the bounds of, of simulation theory. Okay. Three separate planets. Have you, have you put any thought into how close these planets are to each other? I mean, you could just be traveling through some kind of black hole when you, when you get to the, uh, in the plane. And, and basically the windows on the plane, they're not real either. They're just video screens to make you think like yeah, you're okay. traveling across the ocean. <laughs> My only problem with with this is there is no turbulence in space. I mean, you can simulate turbulence. I mean, you can simulate it, but why would you? <laughs> Doesn't make sense. To make it seem more real. Yeah, maybe I don't know. Maybe, maybe maybe turbulence is just like little little pockets within the black hole. Maybe turbulence isn't actually a real thing. That happens naturally. Maybe it's something that occurs through the black hole. Okay, we'll run with that. Anything else on this particular... Uh, no, that, that's it. That's it? <laughs> Alright, my, my, my next one... Um, now, th this... This, this might actually almost be proven at this point in time. But I believe that in the United States, and probably to some extent on a global scale, but I'm specifically on this one talking about the United States. Between state, federal, county, and local government, they want to collect 80 to 85 percent of anyone's income in taxes. I mean, somebody does. I mean, any, I think anybody in power without the balance of power is, try, is trying to take as much possible um, wealth from you as they possibly can to right. increase their own wealth and power. Right, but I mean, I, I, don't, I don't actually believe the number is that high, but I believe that it will be that high probably within, I would venture to say, the next... It's basically a segment. Five to ten years. It's basically a segment of, of basically democratic socialism that they're trying trying to push, and in European countries, it is not um, outlandish um, for extremely high taxes. But they also have to give you a reason why they're taking that mm -hmm. much money. For for mm -hmm. example, they have they have their uh, socialized mm -hmm. healthcare systems. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, I, that that's the only that's the only thing that I can think of that they have that 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 we don't have. Um, but I mean, yeah, okay, you know, I mean, the, the healthcare thing is uh, a valid point. But the the point being, let's say you make a hundred thousand dollars a year, right? You have at the end, all said and done, between fifteen thousand and twenty thousand to spend on whatever you want, including food, housing. Gas, you know, you know, commodities. Right. That's, and the rest, you know, you're paying in some form, way, or another right. in taxes. Well, well, I'm, I'm gonna. Say, well, obviously, I already, I already yeah, said so it. So you would have, you, know, you make a hundred grand yeah. a year. You know, you would have, you know, fifteen thousand to figure out where you're gonna live, how you're gonna get to work, how is it, how you're gonna eat. Right. Is it possible for that to happen in the future? I would say. Yes, it is possible. Do I think it's plausible? Maybe. Do I think that there's uh, always going to be checks? There's going to be checks and balances, um, and it depends on. Um, it really does depend on the population seeing things and standing up for themselves, um, because there's always going to be segments of the government. Um, there's always going to be segments of industry, and there's always going to be segments of anybody in power trying to collect more wealth from themselves than taking them from everybody else. Yeah. Uh, on a side note, uh, you, uh, you did hear that the uh, Congress passed uh, passed a 21 percent pay increase for who? For them? How? <laughs> And they're claiming seven point nine percent inflation. 
Look, I, there, here's here's the thing. How long have I been saying what? that whatever number they're reporting it is two point five to three times higher? Do you think it's just odd that that falls in that range of their pay increase over the course of a year? I honestly think that's like conspiracy theory. I honestly hey, no. think that it's here. Here's what I would like. I don't mind the Congress making more money, but in 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 for example, like a check and balance. They need to limit the amount of money they can make off the the, what the stock market. Or you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. How how they can they can use information that they learned in Congress, so they have insider training trading right. knowledge on things. If if they cut out the insider trading and not be able to trade, I have no issue whatsoever on paying Congress more. Fair enough. Because they, they should they should make enough money so that they're not as easily corruptible, and not have to depend on. What do you think is a good salary for a congressperson? I I don't honestly know the answer to that question. Um, it, it, honestly, it's very that's a very complicated question. On what their salary? Well, I mean, it is, but you're talking about them being corruptible. I mean, I mean, everybody, what, what are every, gonna, everybody are wants. Gonna, are you going to pay a congressperson five million dollars a year? No, because these companies are throwing that kind oh, of money. Oh, I, I, I am well aware of that. So I mean, it, I'm, I'm very well aware of that not only companies, foreign governments are trying to pay them off too. All right, yeah. So yeah, the government wants all your money. You heard it here first. Right. All right. Let's uh, move on to my next one. Um, we are the largest sturdiest creatures in the universe. Aliens abduct us, breed us, and force us to fight for them in their wars. We have the perfect amount of violence, dexterity, and intelligence for the, for us to fight for them. We are farmed to be fighting weapons um, in, in universal wars. Okay. That's, um... I can actually see that. You think so? Yeah. Uh, yeah. I, I don't have no the, idea where the, this came the, from. The, the mentality of the human race in general, yeah, yeah, I, I could probably see that. However, I don't know about this whole, we are the most rigid, you know, well, I mean, sturdy. We, we don't know what's out there in the rest of the universe. Maybe, it's true. Maybe the rest of the universe, almost all intelligent beings are about this small, about the size of a mouse. You know what I mean? Okay. <laughs> I mean, I, well, uh, I mean, I don't know what else to do other than try and poke a small hole in this. Other right. than why don't we have mass, you know, abductions whenever because, they go to war? Because almost they, like a draft. They, 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 they come down. They abduct us. They and then they, they kind of breed us, or they, they, they take. They take uh, our. Oh, so our, so you're saying that they have like their own vast army of right, humans, right? Already, yes. So they okay, okay, all right. That yeah, okay. They, that's more plausible. They they only come and abduct us when they need when they need more DNA samples. <laughs> when they need more sperm, right? And eggs, right? We need more babies. Not on this planet. And then they farm us off world. To create their super soldiers. Okay. I mean, that's... Something. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I mean, I'm trying to come up with a... Uh, rebuttal on that one. I got nothing. Yeah, I, I made that one kind of solid. That one was kind of yeah, solid right there. I got, I got nothing on that one. <laughs> Woo! It would be difficult to disprove, and it would be difficult to prove at the same time. But it's just like a wild theory. It, but honestly, it, it, it seems to me like we could make a movie off this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> on, on a side note, though, yeah, I had an idea of, you know, I should have started this when I like first broke my hand. Started writing like a book or a movie or something. Right. I mean, there's always regrets on the time that you wasted that you could have been doing something else. You know what I mean? 
Wait, I, I, mean, mean, I think, I think it actually got a good idea. Right. But, eh. Are the aliens going to farm us and turn us into soldiers? <sighs> well, uh, uh, this, this kind of came from, like, multiple ideas, right? You know, like, the clones from Star Wars kind of, kind of came to mind when I was thinking it. And then also, um, I, I can't remember the name of the movie, but I think it was called, I think it was called Soldier, where they were, um, they were raising children to become um, super soldiers, and then they, uh, the, the, the next generation was uh, biologically enhanced um, soldiers, um, and uh, I think Kurt, what's, what's his name, Snake from Escape from New York? Kurt, Kurt Russell. Kurt Russell was in that movie, and it is, uh, honestly it is an awesome movie, I like it. It's old, but I still like the movie. Never, never seen it. I actually never even heard of it. Yeah, you should check it out. It's a, it's very entertaining. It, it it is old in its own way, but it's like early '80s, probably something like that. But I I enjoy the movie. That's fair. You got another one? Yes. Uh, what were we at time? All right. Um. Woke ideology was created by the government to sexually confuse the population into lowering the pop- lower- lowering our population. I'm not sure that that is a conspiracy theory. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure that qualifies for this particular discussion this week. <laughs> All right, uh, I'm sorry to get to get too real into the real world. I mean, I, I, I think I don't think it was created by the government. I think it was. I think it was like manufactured in um, colleges um, through, through uh, the passing of ideas, and some segments of the people in colleges have more lean than other segments, but the well, possibility well, that I would be, I would venture to say that you know college students are more impressionable. Right. I mean, obviously they are, but I mean, there's there's a certain amount of um, violence or force or shame that is pushed on by segments of uh, the college campuses um, to to get their way, and everybody else is just trying to learn and live their lives, <laughs> and you got some nutbags out there trying to push some crazy ideology on other people. Yeah. Well, I. Uh... My, and I have, okay, on, on a side note, I have been saying that, you know, at some point in time, we're going to have to have a reckoning about, you know, the world global population, because we can't just keep, you know, adding a billion people every 10, 10 well, years or, or uh, whatever uh, the numbers are. I, I don't have them, you know, offhand, so. Well, th- thus, thus far, we've been fairly... Um good at uh, manufacturing and creation of processes to continue to feed the growing population. Um, right, is, 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 there, time, is there a point or a plateau? Because, because in, in nature, right, in nature there's always like a slight overpopulation and then into a plateau and then into a slight... Uh, and that's, that's the way nature works itself. And in, in, in an attempt to manipulate that in any form or another is just unnatural in general. Right. I mean, if you look at the, you know, uh, population numbers over, over, let's just say, the last hundred years, you know? Right. At some point in time, we're going to run out of land that is necessary to sustain the nutritional, just, just even the nutritional, you know. I don't think that's true at all. I, 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 th- I think our diets would adapt to uh, something else. Um, it would, see, this, this is the thing. When it, it's, it's, like I said, it's just like a natural thing for populations to boom uh, uh, when, there's, when there's resources available. And it's a natural thing for, for population to plateau when resources are not natural. We can go to the grocery store, uh, uh, for example, uh, we can go to the grocery store and there's more food there than we can possibly eat. A lot of it just goes to waste. You know what I'm saying? So we're producing, we have more food in the grocery stores than we could possibly eat. We have not even begun 
to plateau. Maybe certain segments of the world have, but we have not. Right, and and also we have you know one of the more diverse economies in the world. Right. So we have the options and availability of these products. Right. Think, I mean, you know, think about somewhere else in the world. Like, you know, let's let's say, let's just take the continent of Africa, mm-hmm. the entire continent. One, um, I, I want to say that they are the third highest populated. It might even be second. They they might even right. surpass Europe. But do you think that they have grocery stores out in the middle of you know wherever they you know they live and everything? This, this, this might this might seem cruel to many to many people, but we should not be helping. We should not be feeding them. The, 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 their, if their success is based on our, um, what, what is it called? Um, our giving them or feeding them or taking care of them, um, that, then that it is not their success. It is not, that their population boom, if that is based upon our um, giving them things, then it's it's unnatural, you know what I mean? You know what I'm trying to say? Well, I, I I don't think their population boom is based on that. It's based on their culture. They you know. Well, then they obviously they are, don't they don't sit around and look at their phone. They are, watch they, TV all day. No, they go out and they hunt and you know fuck. Well, it, it, <laughs> obvi- yeah, that's what obviously they, do. they have more. If they, if they continue to grow and populate, then they obviously they have more than enough to uh, to feed their their people with. Because if they if they if they if their if their population stopped growing, they would stop having enough food. Yeah, to eat. but also they they also have a lot of areas, so their population density is a lot lower. Okay, right. So they have more sustainable area in order to support themselves. What I was you know inferring is that these more dense you know uh, areas and everything mm-hmm. take. Take the supply chain out of the equation for the minute. Think about this. Right. If the population keeps going up, those people are not going to be able to st- sustain themselves because there's just not enough area in order to do that. I have one word to say to that. Okay. okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was saying. I mean, if people starve, if if people starve to death because um, they can't support themselves, I'm not themselves necessarily there. even saying starve. Right. You know, it could be. A, I think population would naturally plateau if they could not sustain itself. In my opinion. I don't know. Right. We'll, we'll wait to find out. Yep. All right. So I have I have one last one. Okay. Well, I, I'll. Um I'll let you save that one for that. Okay. If you're alright with that. Right. Oh, I thought this was the end. No, I, I got one more. Okay. Well, let's see yours real quick. <sighs> We're going to try to keep this just a little bit short there. What? I guess, I mean, I don't care. Or, what, what is, okay, what's yours? I thought we were trying to stay on a timeline here. No. We're, we're, kind of bu- we're about to bust the timeline up. No, 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 no. no okay. No, 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 no. We're good. Yeah, you can just... Okay. Blush everything out. But, like I said... Well, actually, you know... Chop that. Break it out. But... For my final one... I believe that alligators are forming a cabal in order to take over the state of Florida. What do you base this on? The fact that I, I, I saw like three news stories in the past week about um, people hitting uh, alligators with vehicles and dying. In the road or in the water? In the road. In the road? Yes. So. Uh, a person is hitting an alligator with a car, and the yep. person is dying. And the person is dying. 
Now, are they swerving off the road to avoid the alligator, or is the alligator leaping into the car through the glass and biting their face off? I don't know, but I think they're coordinating. <laughs> you think they're coordinating? I think they are coordinating. <laughs> I, have you heard this story where they want to build, like, a boat around Florida? They want... What? Yeah, they want to build a boat. <laughs> I mean, honestly, it wouldn't be that hard. They're, they're already surrounded on three sides by water. All they would have to do is build a moat between them and Georgia. Well, no, they they would have to, like, you know, seed the panhandle area. That's the problem, is the panhandle. Because that thing actually, you know, sticks out, like, almost all the way to, what, Mississippi or... What? The panhandle of Florida. Right. You know where Florida Pensacola just is. isn't, like, like right. you know, a dick on a map. Yeah, where Pensacola yeah. is down, down there. Right. That would be a, that would be a big why, boat. Why, why would they seed that area? Why don't they just, I mean... Build... It would be easier to build a boat, just like you said, between there and Georgia. Right. It was, it, that, that would probably triple the size of the moat. Think about that. Right. It's a cost. I don't think they're ever going to build a boat around nah. Florida. <laughs> no, they're not, but if they did, they're probably going to populate it with alligators. <laughs> there you go, now. You heard it here first. Maybe that's the plan for the alligators. To moat themselves. Well, no, to wait until they build the moat. Oh, they okay. be like, motherfuckers, we got you now! And, and then they're going to take They're Florida. just going to attack. <laughs> they're just going to attack. And then, yeah, just be fucking alligators down there. Uh, I'll be honest, I feel bad for the alligators, because those Florida motherfuckers are crazy. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you definitely don't want to be an alligator and come across a dude who's been smoking bath salts all night. Yeah, the fucking, the fucking dude smoking bath salts is going to fucking eat the fucking alligator's face. And then some. <laughs> I was going to say something, but I'm going to refrain. Yeah, yeah. I, I kind of I thought, thought something... Uh, Probably along the same lines that you it, are. He'll eat his face after he gives the alligator a hand job. <laughs> yeah, so. Okay, mine was That'll worse. be behind the scenes. <laughs> mine was worse. <laughs> behind the scenes, man. Come on. Let it fly. <coughs> Alright, so the alligators are taking Florida. Alright? You think they'll win the war? Yeah. You think the alligators are going to win the war? Yeah. All right. People are soft and weak. I think there's more numbers. I mean, yeah, I mean, I think we got numbers. I don't know. It, it will be, I would say, a well-contested conflict. Al- alligators don't eat enough. I mean, they they could go on a murder. That's what I'm saying. They're hungry. You know. I mean, they, but they only eat like once every two years. <laughs> they don't need to eat them. And that's what I was thinking. Is that maybe they're just they're gonna just violent violently attack people without eating them? Could you? This sounds like a Futurama episode. Right. Like a bunch of alligators just running across. Yeah, it seems like a cutscene from Family Guy or something. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Conspiracy theories. All, All right, right you ready? What do you got for your last ready one? Ready for man? my last one? Oil ran out 50 years ago. Natural oil that was in the ground. Um, we've learned to master. We've learned to manufacture oil. With the blood of humans, <laughs> and farm people, and we farm people for energy. This seems to be a common theme from you this week. We are farming people. Yes, people, people, people are no more than a corn stalk in a field, or a battery in the Matrix. Right. Which we actually didn't even talk about this week. But okay, so you're saying. That we are manufacturing oil. From the blood of humans. Out of human blood. Yes. <laughs> Actually, I'm, I'm going to be honest. It's not that far-fetched. <laughs> right. Because I'm thinking about it. How, th- these would be interesting numbers to know. You should actually look this up. Right. How much blood is donated over the course of a year? I don't think there's enough blood for Versus that. how much right. is actually used. Right. I mean, they're always asking for more blood, but that right. might... they always have these blood drops. But, but I, th- I think that's more for the vampires than it is for uh, creating oil. 
Well, I mean, <laughs> I th- I think about this. Every time you go to the doctor, they, you know, take a, a, a thing of blood. I, I, I just... All they do when they <laughs> test it is the, the, it's just a drop. What happens to the rest of the blood? You, you, you missed, you missed um, the, 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 the portion where I just inserted a, another conspiracy theory. It's, Which was I? I must admit they, they, they do that for the vampires. Uh, oh well, I did hear that, but I was like, right, let's let's hold off on that one. We can we can circle back around. Nope, that's just part of the conspiracy now. <laughs> so not only are they creating oil, yes. now they're feeding vampires. They're feeding as well. vampires, and they're and creating, creating oil from the oil? blood of humans. That um that that, that seems a little bit far fetched, but so 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 they they so. Like, there are certain countries that produce more oil than other countries. You know, maybe they have, like, human farms on the, on the eastern side of, of uh, Russia, and they just, like, mash people up and turn, it into, turn them into oil. And same thing with uh, the Middle East. Maybe they just farm parts of Africa and parts of the Middle East. For I mean, I could see it from the Middle turn East, into oil. but um, I'm, I'm not entirely sure how much oil... Russia actually produced them more of natural gas. You got anything with natural gas? It's like, you know... I'll have to do more thinking into the conspiracy on natural gas. I'm just going with oil right now. It's going with oil. Oil and vampires. Oil and vampires. What, um... <laughs> how much... How much blood do you believe it would take to sustain a vampire for one day? How much... Do I think for one day? I mean, I think... Vampires need to only eat like once every every uh, every other month or so. I think I think they're fine. Like one human's worth of blood for per month. So nine nine pints a I, month. I don't know how much blood a person has. I'm pretty sure it's nine pints. Sure. <laughs> nine pints a month. Seems excessive. It, it, hey, it's my conspiracy. I can go with whatever amount of blood a vampire drinks per month as I want. <laughs> Fair enough. All right, just just real quick. Which one do you think was the best conspiracy theory that we came up with? I like my conspiracy about... Aliens farming humans and turning us into soldiers. I, I, I like that one too. I like your last one as well. <laughs> I thought my best one was the alligator one. The alligator one attacking people and, and trying to take Florida? Yeah. <laughs> Which one do you think is probably most likely to come true? Uh, Well, this is a stupid question because it's the one that's already been proven true with the fucking goddamn um... the woke ideology. Yes. Okay. All right. Well, maybe that one is more true. I don't know. Yeah. I don't think it was created by the government. I think that's the conspiracy part of it. But I do think it was created in an effort to lower the population. That's fair enough. Unless people yeah. are just that stupid to go. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I just... <laughs> I just wanted to get that on camera. All right, let's close it out. Well, there you go. You heard it here first. Talking this week about our own crazy conspiracy theories. Which there are absolutely no factual evidence to back any of these up. Nope. Just, just so you're aware. Completely made up. That's right. I don't know. It was still... <laughs> it was still funny. I thought it anyway. Oh, ladies and gentlemen out there watching, thank you for joining us here for the Bangcast, episode 18. I'm, of course, Gregor Guy, I'm joined here by Casey. Everyone out there watching, enjoy the rest of your day. Ugh.